Hello everyone and welcome to the Saturday premiere here on Make Your Mind. As you can see I got a little clay pedestal sitting right here for the creature in question. <laughs> this one, this is, well this is actually the first of many sculptures that I plan to do for creatures from the game The Isle. Now if you don't know what The Isle is, if you watch any of the videos from Anathomnia or IGP or Icy Crest, you, they have actually played the game. And it should be, I believe it's still available, you should be able to get into it, but they're still beta testing, they're not quite done with it yet. But it is a open world survival dinosaur game. Where you actually get to play as a dinosaur, and you actually get to live as a dinosaur, pretty much. I mean, you get to, you get to eat, you, get, you run from predators, you drink water, you run around as if you were a wild dinosaur, and you eventually grow in size until you go from a newborn all the way to an adult. And uh, if you're some of the devs, or if you're some of the uh, other, if you're some of the, like, some of the favorite, uh, either influencers or creators, sometimes you'll allow to play special versions. And here is one of the first special versions, which I will get into more detail, but here's the sculpture of the evening. The Hypo Giganotosaurus. <laughs> There's the roar. Sorry, I gotta move my hand around the armature here. There it is. There's the Hypo Giga. I'm sorry, I just noticed his claw down there was bent. There we go, that's more like it. Look at this. As you can see, the Hypo Giga, or also known as the Hyperodocrine Giganotosaurus is actually a gene strain of the regular Giganotosaurus, but with some mutations, as you can see. The main mutation that you can definitely tell is right there. Look at the jaws. The jaws actually split into, the bottom jaw splits into four distinct sections, and it just has teeth on teeth on teeth on teeth. And the jaw actually splits open as it roars and then kind of folds back away when it closes its mouth. And as you can see, it also actually has a little bit of a top jaw onto there as well with another row of teeth. Truly remarkable what this creature is. Of course, I got the eyes up there. I'm looking back. And the, Gigano the hypo is actually much, much larger than the typical Giganoto, what you would see on the island. Because the hyperodocrin is actually, well, like I said, it's a type of it's a type of gene mutation that causes sort of accelerated growth. It causes external mutations, internal mutations, and it's one of the it's one of the many creatures that you will actually find in the aisle. But here's the other defining feature: look at the spines on its back. It almost has this alligator look to it. It's truly an amazing looking thing. And just look, it goes all the way down, all the way from the tip of the tail. And the spine sort of splits off and it kind of gets to this section here. Then it splits off and then you have the other taller section here and it has these sort of plates on its back as extra armor. And these creatures, basically, they have to constantly eat. They have to eat the whole time that you see them on the map. But if you're a regular dinosaur, and you see a hypo, just run. Run for your life. These things will take you out in just one hit or two. Unless you're a Triceratops, which seems they seem to last in three hits. So <laughs> you may have a little bit of a chance with that. But let me go ahead and put you on a pedestal. And I will talk in some more detail about the Hypo Giga. The Hyperodocrine, the Hyperodocrine Giganotosaurus is a holotype, a single type specimen upon which the description and name of a new species is based. And that's how it goes for the game. A large predator in its own right, the Hyperodocrine Giganotosaurus will be one of the largest predators in the isle. E being even larger than the Hyperodocrine Tyrannosaurus, but slightly smaller than the Hyperodocrine Spinosaurus, which... Both of those sculptures will be on the way. Along with the 
the Hypo Carnotaurus, and I may even do the Hypo Utah Raptor. So we'll see how that turns out. Let's see, and the Hypo, Hypo Hyperodocrin Spinosaurus, which will be the largest carnivore on the entire game, will be the largest in the aisle. It appears to have a spiked tail. It is unknown at the moment what the purpose for these spikes are, if any. And that's talking basically about these right up here. They're not sure of the purpose, but I can clearly tell what the purpose is. It's meant to be armor plating. It's so that it can survive against other dinosaurs, and especially against other hypos, because the hypo rex is is a formidable opponent, and the hypo spino is even is, is just as crazy as the hypo giga is. Its most definitive features are its jaws, which here, let me go ahead and turn these turn this up. Go ahead and turn your head real quick for me. Thank you. There we go. Which have the ability to unhinge, similar to snakes, and the Hyperodocrine Spinosaurus. Which that actually splits in two sections, whereas this splits into four. This is possibly due to it being a member of the Bleeder Branch. It is unknown if its mouth always opens like this, or it only when it roars and bites. It has smaller rows of teeth, which could help it bring down prey, which are right in here by grasping it with the bigger rows and then letting the smaller ones do most of the damage. So it's basically grab and then tear with the smaller teeth in here. However, while opening its jaws, it seems to experience great pain while doing so as a result of its mutation. It is also the slowest Hyperodocrin, which may be explained by all of the armor on it, which is significantly bulkier than other Hyperodocrin dinosaurs. And that's true. The, the armor on this is very much reminiscent of the Ankylosaurus, which if you don't know what that is, the Ankylosaurus is the herbivore that has the big bone, like, club on the end of its tail. But this is very much, it reminds me of, like, a sort of... I would say that this sort of reminds me more of a... sort of like an alligator, sort of the way the, the spines look. But also in such a way that it's more like... Yeah, I guess the Ankylosaurus would be the one that would be most uh, prevalent when it comes to that. But just look at that mouth. I mean, just imagine, imagine that for a second. And then imagine for a second you see this, and then all of a sudden you hear... That is just an incredible roar sound. It sounded like like Icy Caress said, it almost sounds like a mountain coming down. It's just one of the most incredible things. But here, let's take a little more detail into the sculpture itself. So as you can see, I went with this typical coloration that you could that you can kind of see on the Hypo Giga, but I sort of made it a little bit brighter, especially when it comes to the orange with the stripes, and also with the sort of neon yellow going up towards the head. Wow, look at that. There's a thumbnail. Look at that. That looks so cool. And as you can see, the Hypo Giga has, still has three fingers on its two front arms. It has the three, it has the three toes on its feet. And man, look at that armor plating. That just looks so cool, especially when it's done. I had to put all of these on individually. And it just, man, it was totally worth it. It took the extra time to make these a little bit longer and finish off the tail like that. You've seen it from this side. Let's switch over to this side. There we go. Let's bend that claw back down. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, I sort of faded it in from the orange to the yellow. And let's see right here. Yeah, look at that. I even put a little bit of the yellowish, uh, the neon yellow underneath to sort of taper off just to give it that little bit of extra color. It's certainly, certainly just one of the absolute, I mean, my gosh, if you saw this, If you saw this in the jungle, I mean, if you see this in the game, like I said before, if you see that coming at you, just run. <laughs> These things are not very fast, but they will do a lot of damage. But with when other hypos are around, if you have a hypo carno that's running around and attacking, and then a hypo giga coming around getting the stragglers, man, that, that is game over for everyone on the server. 
But uh, I would definitely go check out IGP's videos with Icy Caress. I would definitely check out Anthomnia's videos with uh, The Isle. And uh, and just give the game a check. See how, see what it's like. It's a really, really interesting game. Interesting concept. But with that, that concludes the video. Let me put you towards the back just like that. There we go. And with that, that is the Hyperodocrine Giganotosaurus, the Hypogiga. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave a like down below. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss the next video. Oh, and uh, for those of you who are wondering what the next creature is going to be for the upcoming premiere, I said before that I was going to be getting into Dinosaurs with the Isle, and I was also getting into Fallout. And uh, next Saturday's premiere is going to be the first sculpture of the sculptures for Fallout, and it is in fact going to be the one and only famous and infamous Deathclaw. So definitely stay tuned. Wednesday I will have a preview showing me in the process of making it, and the next coming Saturday will be the preview or the premiere. Sorry about that. Will be the next uh, the next premiere will be for the Deathclaw. So with all of that, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all for so much for all the support. I'm nearly to 500 subscribers. Um, it's been quite an incredible ride this last three months. And uh, I may be slowing down a little bit just so that I can get my setup ready for some better videos. But I promise you that there's some great things coming. So don't mind. I'm going to um, don't just be patient with me, please. It takes some time to make these and I'm going to be setting up getting ready for live streams and also going to be setting up a, an online store. I just get to get a few things worked out, and uh, I just need to give myself a little bit more time to do it. So over the next two weeks or so, the videos are going to be slowed down. I'm only going to be making maybe four to five videos a week. Uh, be a video on Tuesday, the preview Wednesday, video Thursday, and then I'll do two videos on Saturday, which will be a regular video and then the premiere, which is going to be, like I said before, the Death Claw. The Death Claw itself. Ooh, that's going to be fun. So with that, thank you all so much for your support, and thank you again for watching, and I will see all of you on the next Premiere Saturday Sculpture Showcase.